it's become very clear just about everywhere that we are going to have to get used to waves of disruption and as a result, a constant battle. In fact, the way I would describe this is we've moved from all out warfare to really now the hunt for a dangerous criminal who pops up in many different places, who requires us to take different actions depending on where they appear and who doesn't actually just go away. It's a criminal who's going to continue to plague us for quite some time to come. You know, the health care and lives, the economy and livelihoods, but also civil liberties have really been challenged during this period. The concerns about the treatment of black Americans at the hands of the police, the reactions to George Floyd's killing, and basically a re-exposure on these global digital platforms of a bias and concerns about fair treatment have really lit, I think, a very human but important touch paper and a desire to address that as well as we think about ways to build back better. If I think about some of the potential pitfalls that I'm seeing um, senior executives make, it's thinking about this next phase as a return to what I had before, as opposed to taking the opportunity to say, can I reset or reimagine my organization. I think some of the most inspiring um, conversations I've had with CEOs are around, how do I rewire my organization for this speed that's based on design versus based on adrenaline? The first piece of advice I'd offer a CEO is forecasts are out and dashboards are in. The notion that you can now forecast the economy, healthcare, and other aspects of what can disrupt life, I think is gone. Now we're in an environment where I think we've also learned that what you really need to have a handle on is the metrics, the insights, the on the ground, what's actually happening, the dashboard of daily life. Are you investing enough in understanding um, the different sources of data and information to be able to adjust and make decisions? It comes with this notion of, I'm gonna have to make a lot of decisions and be agile. So am I investing to have my fingers on the sources of different parts of input. Some of that may be input about my customers. Some of it may be input about regulatory environments changing. And some of it may be input about um, my suppliers and partners. It also requires you know, CEOs and other leaders to be knowledgeable enough about data and, and technology to be able to make informed decisions. So the CIO, the CTO, marketing are all Every decision is now powered by a set of data and analytics that you have to understand quite deeply. You really do have to think like an attacker all over again. Even if you were the incumbent, even if you were the leader before this pandemic, now you're the attacker and you have to therefore take the steps that attackers take. Think very differently, look for new opportunities, new markets, reshape the portfolio and yes, mergers and acquisitions plan for really doing things quite differently as the future unfolds. For business leaders, I think it's been really challenging to find the resilience to really lead in a more human way, particularly when you think about some of the issues around inclusion and equality and social justice, or how do we build back better towards a net zero economy? You know, how do you make sure you've got the resilience to be able to lead in a, uh, a bold, empathetic and ethical way? And if you never knew that you needed all of those skills, we know it for sure now. And I, I think that's been an important um, insight for many of our clients and leaders. Mm -hmm.